I think this is a world-changing product. We've engineered a building system that can build any building type anywhere on the planet. And this is not just about getting rich. If we are successful with this, we are gonna change lives for millions of people because the plan here is to dramatically lower housing costs for the entire world. Before I moved to Las Vegas, I lived in the Bay Area. So I spent a lot of time in San Francisco and I saw some of the horrific things that are going on there where people are living on the street in tents. And there's no, there's no reason it has to be that way. Housing should be affordable and available just like all our other modern products. One of our other co-founders, Paolo, he had built a big modular house back in Connecticut where we're from. And he just saw a crazy amount of problems and inefficiencies with building construction. So he came up with the original concept, which was to solve the shipping issues for modular houses. If you're interested in, in an impact investment and making a difference, this is it. Okay, give us your pitch. Hi guys, my name is Galliano and my company Boxable, uh, we've created the only building system that is compatible with mass production. So what's the problem here? Well, it's housing affordability and availability. This is a huge problem all around the world. Why is that? Well, it's because we're not building houses the way we're building everything else. We're building them one at a time, slowly. All our other modern products use Henry Ford assembly line principles and we mass produce them in the factory. For a bunch of reasons, uh, building construction has failed to actually move into the factory. So at Boxable, we've gone through and fixed all those problems so that we can mass produce buildings just the way we build everything else. The initial innovation that we had to get going was to fix the shipping problem because if it's too big to ship, then don't even bother building in the factory. You're gonna lose all your money shipping. So our product actually folds up to a highway legal load and then it ships uh, to site where it sets up in just an hour and everything's done. So after we solved the shipping problem, we moved on to other things to make the buildings more compatible with factory mass production. So that included uh, changing all the materials used, all the engineering, all the uh, different manufacturing processes. You can see right here, our first product, the Casita. This is a 20 by 20 studio apartment that we are gonna be shipping to California for $50,000. So to date, we've had a huge amount of traction. We have over a billion dollars in pre-orders. We have a large uh, government contract. And I just got back from Texas where we installed a Casita for a very high profile and, and top secret customer. Uh, fundraising has been good. We just did an initial crowdfund round uh, where we did a million dollar CF round and we actually oversubscribed that round and ended up raising over four million. So the next step for us is a $50 million crowd offering where we will use that money to build a real assembly line style mass production factory through that produces between three to 5,000 of these casitas uh, per year. As soon as that's working, we're gonna keep growing that to bring on partner factories to scale this all around the world very quickly. This is a huge opportunity. It is the last big pre-factory product that's out there. Happy to answer any of your questions. Terrific, well, thanks for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Hey, tell me, is there a bathroom in there? This one has kitchen, bathroom, HVAC, flooring, windows, doors, everything you need. It sets up in just a couple hours and you're good to go. And getting the bathroom in the kitchen and that expensive stuff done in the factory is so important because the moment you start doing that on site, the costs just explode and it becomes ridiculous and that's why housing is unaffordable. Basically, we have a, uh, a six foot by 20 foot on this model of fixed core space where we can finish stuff in the factory. In this one, it's a kitchen bathroom. In another model, it could be a, a fireplace and a staircase. What, what is the price of a, um, of a fully equipped house? So our first product here, the Casita, we're gonna be selling that for $50,000 delivered. And then you do have to go, go and set it up on your lot. So that's a very site specific thing. What does it cost you to deliver? It's gonna cost us less than $30,000, including uh, direct labor, overhead, raw materials in this early factory. And then when we scale, things are gonna get really crazy because we're doing automobile style mass production. And they have robot arms. They're cranking out one car every 53 seconds. That's the way we should building, be building housing. Not by hand, not with nails and wood. And until someone figures out how to make buildings compatible with the factory, the housing problems will continue. Uh, did you get any prepayments from the pre-orders? Out of that 1 billion pre-orders, 
uh, was over one billion. About 10% have given us a deposit. And that bill, billion pre-order, that's a confidential, <laughs> that's a pretty big confidential order. I mean, is it government related or industry related? We have orders from all over the place. A billion dollars of end users who have gone on the site and reserved uh, Casita. 10% of them have paid a deposit. We also have a $10 million contract to deliver uh, 150 of these homes in 11 months to the federal government. I, I'm so confused about the plumbing. Is it like plumbing from a from a trailer home or something? How how do they connect the pipes? Everything's done in the house, ready to connect on site. So whether you want to connect that to the grid utilities or a solar panel or a waste tank, whatever they want to do with our product, they can do it. It's ready to plug in. The back corner over there, you're going to plug in your, your power, your water, and your waste, just the way you would plug in a normal house. Are these houses going to be stackable? Are you going to be able to put one on top of the other and, and have a second floor? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, are we going to go 80 floors high? We think that the initial product should be able to be, go between five to seven stories high. And that gets you basically the bulk of the market. Our building system can actually build much more. It can build any type of building, anything from this little casita all the way up to a big uh, multifamily building with a thousand units where we stack and connect different modules together. One more question. What does your team look like? Uh, we're also kind of a family business. So we have three co-founders here, myself, Galliano Tiramani, uh, my father, Paolo, and Kyle Denman. And the three of us started working on this end of 2017. So now we've got, you know, 10 or so guys here in the office every day. We have a bunch of uh, remote people as well. And we're ready to start bringing on a bigger team as soon as we have the funding to do that. Terrific. Well, thank you so much for being on Meet the Drapers. I guess I can give you a high five to the side, and then if you do a high five, then we kind of like head right. there. So thank you so much for joining us on Meet the Drapers. It was great having you on the show. We were really impressed all the way across, and this was one of the toughest decisions that we've made. With Boxable, uh, we're very excited about the idea of creating low-cost housing we certainly need that in San Francisco. I know they need it in Austin, Texas. They need it in a lot of places around the world. And if you can somehow automate that and you can turn it into a, a big factory that just pounds out houses, we think that that could be really extraordinary. But we think it's also very capital intensive. And we think that it, um, you may not hit the cost numbers that you think you're going to hit. I'd love to be back on the show and, and get in front of more people so more people can find out about what we're doing and why it's going to change the world. I was surprised when, when I got knocked out in the first round. I thought we were better than that, but very happy you guys uh, changed your mind and decided to invite you back. Maybe we could do something even even better next time, like, like a live demonstration of the house unfolding or being set up. I like it. I have something planned that I think will be a little more exciting than last time. Our final semi-finalists, we have Galliano at Boxable. Galliano, go ahead, give us your pitch. Hey guys, Galliano here from Boxable. Thank you for uh, reconsidering. I understand you've been pitched modular construction before. This is different. We have changed everything, we've fixed everything. We've engineered these buildings to handle weather worldwide. That means they are resistant to water, earthquake, wind, and fire. If you take a look over here, you'll see some uh, uh, wall panels. So let me just show you. This is just another What? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> So you can see that's pretty cool. It doesn't burn. It's also very strong. <laughs> that's not that hardcore. So let me let me take a whack at it with this one. This is just the wall panel, guys. Oh, I love this show. <laughs> like I said, this is not like other buildings. One other thing I wanted to mention, you guys had said that this may be too capital intensive of a business. Uh, in fact, it's not. What the plan is here is that we will set up factory one. We will learn everything. We will get the process figured out. We'll wrap it up. We'll put a bow on it. Right now I have over a hundred partners all around the world who want boxable factories 
in the US and in their country. So we're gonna turn this into a factory franchise model. We're gonna sit in the boxable mothership. We're gonna keep doing R&D on the manufacturing process, the product, and we're gonna push that out to all our partner factories. And it's gonna become more of a logistics company in the end. Fantastic, Galliano, that was so fun. Okay, so you described something and I'm thinking uh, that it may change your model significantly. You are having other people set up the factories. How does the economic model work? They're gonna pay us a percentage of, of the gross. We're also gonna sell them some of the raw materials, the, the more uh, specialty raw materials. We're gonna sell them the equipment. And uh, it's just a great way to, to be able to grow the company and scale really fast. So now that's the factory and you guys are gonna manage the factories and kind of operate them as franchises. And then what's the unit economics of the house? How much does it cost to make them? And how much do you sell them for? We have a building system, it's gonna grow, but the initial product, the Casita, is gonna cost us around 30,000, and we're gonna sell it for 50,000. Once we start adding automation, the cost is gonna go down and down. All our principles are pushing us in the right direction with cost. I think the difference between a big success and, and maybe a moderate success will be if you get end consumers to pay you up front. You put a wait list together and you charge them all 80% up front. You can then ride their money. In fact, we've already done that. We have over a billion dollars in pre-orders. Uh, about 10% of those people have paid us a deposit. Anywhere from $100 up to the full price, the full 50,000 has been paid up front. We also have a $10 million contract from the federal government. Cool. Well, Galliano, I've got to say that's the most entertaining investor uh, pitch I've ever seen in my life. That was awesome. Thank you for that. <laughs> this is a TV show after all. When, when I first heard heard you describe this, I, I thought, you know, FEMA, you know, disaster relief. I mean, they're the government, uh, I'm glad to hear you're working with uh, the federal government, but are you also um, you know, working with other, other governmental agencies you know, internationally? The use cases for this product are endless. Disaster relief is a huge one. I fully expect FEMA to, to be a huge customer. We have a lot of governments in on this from countries all around the world and different states in the US and the federal governments. People are looking at this and they're saying, these guys have figured it out. These guys have figured out how to solve uh, worldwide housing shortages. How much of an, an investment have you uh, needed for the whole thing and how much do you project that you will need? To date, we've uh, spent $2 million of our own money. Then we just raised almost $5 million in the CF round, but we were only allowed to keep $2 million out of that because of the, the, the rules. So now we're entering into a new type of crowdfund offering. Uh, and, and in a separate accredited offering to try and raise the max for the Reg A+, and that will be $50 million. We can get going with about half of that. I'm trying to raise double so that we have room to breathe, room for mistakes, and room to upgrade the process and the equipment. This is fantastic. What a great way to finish the show. We think you really are great. You're a great hero. Great things are gonna happen around you. I, I love the demonstration of the flamethrower and the, <laughs> the sledgehammer. So thank you and thank you for being on Meet the Drapers. We appreciate all heroes. All right, we'll see what happens. Thank you for bringing me back. I hope you're entertained. You we'll be right back on Meet the Drapers. My company is called Boxable and we think we've invented the only building system that can be compatible with mass production. Housing is expensive, there's shortages, there's affordability problems all over the world. So for a bunch of reasons, uh, building construction has failed to actually move into the factory. So at Boxable, we've gone through and fixed all those problems so that we can mass produce buildings just the way we build everything else. And what does it cost you to deliver? It's gonna cost us less than $30,000. But we think it's also very capital intensive. You may not hit the costs numbers that you think you're going to hit. I was surprised when when I got knocked out in the first round. I thought we were better than that, but very happy you guys uh, to change your mind and decided to invite me back. Our semi-finalists, we have Galliano at Boxable. Well, you can see that's pretty cool. It doesn't burn. It's also very strong. <laughs> cool. Well, Galliano, I've got to say that's the most entertaining investor uh, pitch I've ever seen in my life. That was awesome. Thank you for that. So it's an interesting situation with my partner, who is also 
my son. You know, Galliano's a very interesting individual and uh, he's had several multi-million dollar uh, companies and we decided to do this together. Uh, I needed the help. He wanted a project uh, that was even bigger. So Boxable is a very interesting technology because it really fixes a lot of problems structurally and it dramatically lowers the cost of new home construction. Welcome back, Boxable, and uh, so great to have you. Tell us how, what kind of progress you've made and what's going on with Boxable. Thanks, Tim. I'm Paolo Tiramani, CEO of Boxable, the new construction technology that is significantly going to reduce the cost of your new home. Homes currently are made out in the field one by one. They're very high cost, they're variable quality, and they take forever because they're not built in a factory. Boxable is the solution. They fly down the highway, eight and a half foot wide, and yet they unpack in the field to a staggering 20 foot by 40 foot for the big one. That's 800 square feet with a nine and a half foot ceiling. We have over 20,000 pre-orders. That's a billion dollars with a B. The humongous order from the federal government for 156 units and all of that love has allowed us to make amazing progress. The mission of our company is to put as many roofs over as many people's heads at the highest quality for the lowest price with some yet to be announced amazing, amazing features. Terrific. Well, how many of those houses have you been able to deliver? You got lots of orders. So we are a technology startup, and that means mass production. Mass production can't happen without this guy behind me. This is a multi-million dollar fit out that we're, we're doing back here, and we really can't produce product beyond prototypes uh, and samples until we get the factory up. But it's happening very, very fast, amazing process. We'll be good in a couple of quarters. We have delivered one to a very, very famous gentleman in Texas whose name I cannot say. Mostly in California currently, there's just a major homeless issue and the federal government is looking for solutions very, very quickly. Is this why you have the federal government um, contract for 100, I think you said 56 units or something like that? We had a technology and we said, what, how are we going to configure this technology for a first product? Otherwise, it's far too abstract as a tech. So we looked at the ADU market, the accessory dwelling unit, uh, sort of granny apartments, and we came up with the boxable casita for the West Coast, for California, exactly as you have just described, and it just blew up. So the demand that was very apparent from the municipalities on the West Coast is not uh, uncommon. How do you fit a bathroom in there and, and lighting and whatever? Is it plug and play? The product comes completely 100% complete. Part of the technology in our patent base means we don't pack down the whole way. We leave an unpacked six foot, seven foot corridor and that allows us to put kitchens, bathrooms and eventually stairs, fireplaces and all sorts. That's where the dollar density is. That has to be done at the factory for the repeatability. It's like Legos, you know, you connect them at preset intervals tremendous flexibility. And in terms of the hookups to the exterior, all of our hookups port to one corner of the unit. Is Matthew McConaughey the very famous person in Texas who bought the house? Much, much, much more famous than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you got me curious. So, uh, so we're gonna move on to our next entrepreneur. But before we do, let's see what's going on behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, Jesse is still guessing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, man, nicely I'll done, you. boxable, good job. Great to have all of you. You guys were outstanding. This is absolutely the best season we've ever had. I can't believe the quality of the entrepreneurs that we've got here. We're torn. We have no idea who's going to be the winner. So what we've got to do is consult the crystal ball. Whoa, weenie meenie, chili beanie. Oh, we have a tie for third place and it's $250,000. The tie is between Sunscoop and Iragreen. Good job, $250,000 go to both of you. And our second place from the crystal ball, it's Akua, $300,000 to Akua. We are down to the winner. Who is gonna walk away with $500,000? 
$10,000. Who's it gonna be? We have a winner. We have a winner. The winner is Fox the Ball. And Gally, I think that went fairly well. What do you think? Well, they must have loved us. We did win. Thank you so much for having us on the Draper Show. It was really an amazing experience. Tim and the crew were quite wonderful, fantastic show. So next for us is to stand up the first factory, Factory One, in two or three months. That unit should be able to produce about $250, $300 million worth of product. I don't think there's another person, possibly not even Elon Musk, that could put up a factory so quickly and start pumping out such a high volume of homes. Good job, Paolo. Thank you, Galliano. <laughs>